I am Dr. Ahila Sami from Chennai. I am going to show a case of right mini face with congal crushing. My technique under local anesthesia. Very simple way of doing it. You can see the axial CT picture showing the right maxillary sinusitis. It's a chronic sinusitis and a conga bullosa. <coughs> it's a coronal picture showing the right chronic maxillary sinusitis with a conga bullosa on the right side. Slightly a uh, septal spur to the left side, which is insignificant. This patient had a chronic uh, post nasal drip with cough. It's a 56 year old female patient. I am taking the patient the local anesthesia. Already the nose is packed by my Aston doctor with uh, four percent lignocaine and uh, adrenaline in the ratio of one is to one roller gauze. <coughs> <coughs> Never ensure the terminates of the septum while packing. My young doctor has slightly injured the middle terminate, which should not have been done. This video is specially shown. For the youngsters not to injure the turbinates, see this blood trickling and the, some mucosa is abraded. What happens? Every time you take the scope, the scope gets fogged or this uh, raw area will stick to the lateral wall and cause a post-operative sinusitis. So never injure the turbinates. Now I am giving this penipalatine block on the right side and you can see some secretions coming out and going into the Please watch these videos in big monitors. Don't watch it in mobile phones. You can't appreciate the details. See the prolonged discharge going into the nasopharynx. While I am giving this pulpit block. Now I am giving the anti ethmoidal nerve block because I am doing a middle terminate surgery too. That's the congal crushing. This is Dr. Ahila's congal crusher which I have devised with, is available with Sandos Surgical of Mumbai which I am using to crush the conga bullosa. Before crushing, you couldn't see the middle metal space. Now after crushing, you should have a good look at the uh, or space, have a good space in the middle metals to work. And you should see completely the ancinate and the part of the bulla which comes out. Gently crush, do not uh, uh, damage the mucosa. Patients are very comfortable under local anesthesia with a good IV sedation of fentanyl and dexmedetomidin. See the ancinate is fully seen and the bulla is also seen. And now it has become a normal like middle terminate. When you do this procedure, you don't unstabilize the middle terminant in a, as like in a, sometimes in a, sometimes in a congoplasty or you pre create a lot of raw area to cause a sinecae with the lateral wall. Now with the Naga Shigma's back biting forceps, you take three bites, one, two, three, to enter into the antrum. That's one. One, again two, and three. You, you can have a look at the, you have entered the antrum. Now you widen the MMA. Never miss the natural ostia. When you do like this, three bites, you will include with the natural ostia. The secretion is coming into the suction. Six secretions. Under local anesthesia, you see hardly any bleeding. It will be like a cadaveric field. Slight mucosal damage that's uh, due to the packing, which should have been avoided by my young ENT colleague while packing little bit damage. Youngsters, you should never traumatize mucosa any other normal area. Now I am with the Nakashima backbiter still widening the MMA in the lower part. Even if it snows a bit, it should not snows whole. 
that's the idea under local NCCA with manifest technique you can do wonders inside the max lessons now I am using that straight true biting forceps to take the posterior part of the MMA to make it still more wide enough In this case, I am not using the debrader or shaver system as it is purely done with the cold instruments to teach the youngsters. Still, the lower part, there is a ridge of the MMA which I am taking out with the back meter. Still, some secretions are there which is being sucked out with the curved sucker. And you can appreciate lot of edematous mucosa inside the maxillary sinus that will settle do not remove the mucosa you can see some bony hanging from the upper part of the ancinate we have removed only the one third of the ancinate lower part in mini first technique do not take the whole part the advantage is there will not it will prevent creating a sinecure between the middle terminate and the lateral one. So that raw bone is taken out with the backbiter. You can see, uh, appreciate a good MMA with edematous mucosa inside the sinus, which will settle because of the good ventilation. Remember, this is a very, very minimally edited video whole surgery was done in 10 minutes this is almost an 8 or 9 minutes video still the shape is made on that and the patient is very comfortable hardly any bleeding we don't pack the nasal cavity after any nasal or sinus procedures and discharge as daycare procedure on the same day when there is no raw area or anything on the normal Thing, normal terminates septum everything you won't get crusting in post operatively or sign a case etc hope appreciate the bloodless field thank you for watching see you in another video you can contact me anytime at my following address thank you